What's up, guys? It's Bart Hansen here for CrushLivePoker.com, and I want to introduce to you a new cash game live stream coming out of the area that I have now moved to in Austin, Texas. This is Texas Card House, Austin, and they're going to be streaming live cash games every Monday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Central Time. That's 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, Mondays and Thursdays. I'm going to be playing on this show a lot. I'm going to be commentating some. I'll probably be making hand analysis videos as well, but you will certainly see me here a bunch at the Texas Card House, Austin, and we have cut up some of the best hands that came from a recent 5-5 No Limit live stream from a couple of nights ago, and you are going to meet a new bluffer in uh, this guy, Vittorio. So if you like this video, hit the like button and head over to TCH Live, all one word, in the search box, and I'll put a link in the description, and subscribe to their channel so that you can get notifications if you really like uh, No Limit Cash Game action. This is Texas Poker. Definitely have a look. I think my dad like pays attention, but he doesn't know. He couldn't tell you a straddle from a three bet to, to anything. So it's like my parents are just very confused. But I think they at least now know that this like this is not a that uh, this place is actually pretty good. Yeah, it definitely took my parents a few years to get used to the idea of me playing poker for a living. Yeah, there's a lot of misconceptions people can construe as Vittorio. I'm not going to trick anybody here. Three bet now with this nines. Matt's going to call for 75, and Marco mix it up three ways. Let's call with a jack 10 offsuit. Listen, you're going to three ways to the flop. I would Seven, four, four. I would expect uh, Vittorio to bet here almost all the time with his over pair. I would expect Matt to call. And. Marco to bow out. Do you think Matt might raise here just in this spot, or is this kind of one of those boards that you still got to be concerned about over pairs? No, no. I think the way that the hand played out preflop, that I would expect him to just call. Since Vittorio three bet preflop, I would expect Matt to think that Vittorio can still have all the over pairs. And Matt doesn't want to raise there and raise into a big hand. And it's now nines full here for Vittorio. Must be nice, huh? <laughs> I'm interested to see what size he's going to go with. Looks like about half pot. Yeah, and about 210. I wouldn't be surprised if Matt gave it up here. Uh, no, he's going to go ahead and call. Vittorio can still have a bunch of overcards, flush draws. And I think Matt's still in the feeling out period with Vittorio. As I'm pretty sure he hasn't played with him before. Yeah, if they have, it's been probably pretty great. Those. Yeah, and I would expect this to shut it down. I think Vittorio is probably going to bet something in the neighborhood of 500 and I think that'll fold pretty quickly. That's a good uh, good question to pose for the chat box there. You're Vittorio there. How much do you bet on the river into 920? And I, I think he's probably going to go like 350 or something like that. Right. He's going to go with the all in. Oh, yep. I okay, think that's I fine. I was way off on that. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, Matt can still have all of the uh, that flush draws. He can have Ace Queen of Clubs, Ace Jack of Clubs. Um, he can have the backdoor flush draws if he decided to float the flop with uh, Ace Queen or Ace Jack of Spades. And I think that if Matt were to get to this river with those hands, he would feel obligated to call. But I don't think that Matt can call here, simply because Vittorio can also have those hands too, along with the over pairs, along with the boats. So I would expect Matt to think here a bit and fold. But it's, it's kind of a tough spot when you haven't played with someone a lot. Right. But Vittorio's been putting chips in the pot uh, at all times. He three-bet pre-flop. He bet the flop. He bet the turn. He bet the river. So he's going to have uh, a lot of very strong hands here. And I think Matt's going to be unsure that Vittorio can be bluffing here very often. So I think I would expect Matt to just find a fold here. He's still thinking about it, though. But... Uh Folks, welcome Bones here to the poker show of TCH Live. I've been kind of just rambling by myself. And I said, okay, I might see him thinks the same way. And 
been around the turn of the block, the, the cash game grind. It's, uh, it's awesome to have you here, Casey. I appreciate it. I'm really excited to be here. I'm a uh, poker nerd for sure, so I really like getting the opportunity to uh, see all people play and talk about it. And it seems like a pretty good format for that. Plus, I'm a big fan of Texas Card House. Absolutely. So. So, well, if you're a fan of TCH here and you want to take advantage of some aggressive savings, we've got a promotion here in January for five hours straight of play. We'll get you 20% off your hourly, seven hours straight. Get you 30% off of what you pay on your hourly rate. And if you're, oh, that, no oh my gosh, he is going to call, and he's going to be a little disgusted with himself. As some missteps here for Matt early on as he tries to get himself calibrated in this game. After the opening raise with 20, Going to be folded over seats. Uh, we got James in the box here. Catch up here with the action tracker. And, you know, for new viewers that, that don't necessarily know the, the RFID technology, is that, uh, yeah, not only when a hand's being played, the hand that's being folded runs into two sensors that, that allow the action tracker to catch up. So sometimes when, when you're trying to get a hand to represent it as fold, you know, you're trying to run those mucked hands across uh, the scanner. And if you guys are watching the BCS National Championship game, it's all Tigers. <laughs> Looks like they're driving down the field. As Got that here on the monitor, so maybe we, we can delve in, Looks call like the action for two games, not just... Uh, the poker game we got going on tonight, but also the BCS National Championship also on every TV here at uh, Texas Card House. Is, all right, we've got a flop. Is well, this should be, uh, we should have some action on this flop. Nick's going to flop top pair, Vittorio. He's going to flop uh, middle pair and a flush draw, and we have two mystery hands. So Vittorio has a few options here. He can check raise. Oh, coins is going to come in. When it is three-way with another player in the pot, I think Vittorio may want to check race here. Yep, I think that's what he's going to go with. Yeah, pair and a flush draw is. It's just, so against one player, his uh, pair of sixes can win at showdown sometimes. But against two players, it just gets really difficult to make that happen. And, you know, occasionally you'll be able to fold out hands like 10 high flush draws, jack high flush draws, that could outdraw you. So I think he just, he's fine if he takes it down here. He's fine if he gets a heads up with Nick, who is obviously playing a lot of hands. Um, it, it's going to be a little tough to get a showdown out of position against Nick. But, you know, I think it's, it's a pretty solid play for sure. Raise up to 550. Vittorio has uh, made his presence known in this game. Absolutely. And this is a pretty tough spot for Nick, especially when you play as many hands as he does. Um, he's just, you know, when he's always splashing around with, you know, queen seven off, you know, when you flop top pair, you know, you, you feel like you just flopped the nuts. So we're going to get to a turn, and I think Nick can still have all the really good hands. Um, I don't think he's necessarily going to raise the flop when he gets check raised with like aces, kings, uh, a set of jacks. So when Vittorio bets, or when Vittorio gets to the turn, he knows that Nick can still have uh, a lot of really good hands, along with some trash uh, that he's floated with, and top pairs. So I think he's, looks like he's going to go with about 550. So he's going to go with about a third pot. Wow. No, no, I think he's going to go a little bigger. Fires the turn as it looks like a bet of about 725 or 775. And what's Nick going to go with here? He may suspect that he has a hand that he has as a pair and a draw, and that would be uh So I think what Nick is thinking here is that he can block top set. He can block a lot of... Uh, Jack-10, if Vittorio would check raise Jack-10, which I don't really think he would. Oh, Nick's going to go for it. This is a... Wow. This is an interesting play by Nick. Um, so you see I, the number of odds there for Vittorio if he decides to call as we've got our biggest pot of the night. Nick shoving all in on the turn with top pair with a queen kicker. And we got a Clemson touchdown. All the action all at once. Uh, <laughs> 
And this Made is a dream come true. It like really it. is. And this is a really tough spot for Vittorio. And the, the problem with his line is that this is just the nightmare scenario for him. Um, if he if he knows that he's never going to get raised on the turn, I think his line is very good. Against someone as tricky as Nick, that's not a guarantee. And the way that I think Nick is organizing his strategy is that he's going to put a lot of pressure on people. And this is the kind of hand for Vittorio that just really can't stand up to this kind of pressure. Right. Um, so with... Nick's exact hand against Vittorio's exact hand, this is just like the absolute best play. Um, you know, other than you don't know if he's going to continue on the river and you don't know if he's going to call a bet on the river. So this is the best way to get money in the pot, charge all of his draws, and put him just in a really tough spot. And the fact that he can still have all the good hands like sets, aces, kings allows him to do this um, and really put Vittorio in a bind. It's bones. Bringing the heat here in the analysis chair here on TCH Live. A huge decision for Vittorio. What do you think, Mike? You think he's going to call it off? I, you know, he's... So one thing about the 10 is that it's going to allow a lot of hands that Nick floated the flop with. His uh, king-queen with the club, king-queen of clubs, um, ace-queen, ace-king of clubs. They now turn a gutter to go with their flush draws, and it's going to allow him to put Vittorio in a really tough spot. Uh, if the turn were like a seven, it is Nick has fewer natural bluffs to shove with. Um, but this is this is a really tough spot. I mean, he's put Vittorio. a lot of money in. I mean, you talked about the bet that you make. I mean, you've essentially put what? L roughly over 1300 25 just on the flop and the turn, and Nick has made just a big enough bet that it's call. a hard decision. And I don't see if they'll run it twice or if they go just one time. I think Nick is a two-time guy, but we'll see. Yeah, I, I, don't, I think so. It's... And it probably yeah. feels like there's no way he has a set here, so. They're going to go twice. Awfully gentleman, awfully. And there's That's a club. One for Vittorio. Takes round one. Here comes round two. River two as they run it twice. And oh. sixes. Vittorio scoops. Nick made a huge raise That's a on the line. turn, and boy, does not get paid, does not get uh, the reward of, of that. Uh, this is Jack defeated by a flush and by three of a kind sixes. That might be our hand of the night there thus far. Hey, shout out to uh, former Deuces Crack contributor Bart Hansen. We both uh, did some stuff for their site many years ago. Uh, I was a huge uh, fan of their initial uh, ownership group. All great guys, uh -huh. and they have all kind of gone their own directions. I think Krantz is doing virtual reality stuff now. Uh, Joe Tall is doing sports. Chris Fitch is crushing every form of poker ever yep. and is one of the absolute best uh, mixed game tournament players out there. Your bone, saying Pete for president. I would love to live in a country where Pete is the president. You know how great that would be. Man, that, that, that would state be of the union party. I think that That's... state of the union would be six hours long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, hold on here. Let me tell you about how everything's going. I went to Vegas last week. Three and... congressmen would die before it was over. <laughs> No, it's a pretty weak Pete impression, but, you know, <laughs> you could get kind of the gist. Shout Packing out to Pete, though. He, with he, uh, Pete is always traveling. He went to Rome. He went somewhere else. He's he's living the dream, man. Yeah, it's uh, what we all aspire to be as dudes, is, you know, have some freedom in your life to do stuff. And He's also uh, low-key, fluent in Spanish. Would not think that. Espanol, yeah? Yeah, Espanol all the time. I don't know if we'll have a Spanish simulcast here on TCH Live. I was thinking, can we do that? Can we get a, just like the ESPN Deportes crew, somebody translating what we're saying? Absolutely. I, I that, even have a, a, whoever gets that job has got a real task at hand. I haven't got the girl for you if you're looking for the Spanish oh broadcast. All right. Vittorio calling the three bet with Jack three of clubs. Heads up here between Pat. And Vittorio, all diamonds, ace high, no pairs for each. For I think Pat's going to win this one, just a guess. 
Pat with a sneaky check back with the nut flush draw. Pat with a sneaky double check back. Or double check with the nut flush draw. Think he's going for a check race here? Let's check, check, check here to Vittorio on the turn. And a bet. Holy smokes, how did this puck get so big? Well, I mean, you see, Vittorio raced it to 70 on the blood and it was a $10 straddle. Mm -hmm. And then Pat bumped it up to 235 and Vittorio was like, well, hey, I got Jack 3. Of course I'm calling. Oh, this is an interesting line by Pat. Now a bet call here on the turn is, we go to our river card as a, a nine and Potential disaster here for Pete is, or excuse me, Pat. Pat, not Pete, but. This is, I'm kind of confused by this line, but, uh, you know, maybe Pat is hoping to get a couple check raises in on the, or get a check raise in on the flop. Vittorius is going to put him in. I did not account for Vittorio's heart when I made my he's going to win this hand prediction. Pat, 685 left, would have to call that off to win the hand. He does have the best hand with ace high. As, like he said, I think he, he was expecting to be able to, to make a move. As, but it's a lot, I don't know, does it does feel like if you know if a guy's got, got you up chipped by a ton that you know, a risk for, for him to call 685 more is not that much if he maybe in fact does have a hand that he can call him with. We can see how Vittorio's Yeah, so know, you kind of got to wonder what Vittorio is doing this for value with once he checks back the flop. Um, he can have he can have some nines. Obviously if he has jack three, he can have you know, some nines. I would expect him to bet all of his flushes, particularly when you have the ace of diamonds. I would expect him to check back. If he's going to check back a flush, I would expect him to check back the nut flush in order to uh, let some worse hands catch up or induce bluffs. So I'm, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused by the line, but props to Vittorio for, for putting him to the test here. Man, he's still thinking about it, but uh, folks, it's Monday. And one thing I used to look forward to on Mondays was videos being put together by this man, Sean Mates. It was Mates Hates Mondays were some of the most <laughs> hysterical and random things I have ever seen. Now, don't wear jeans on the golf course around Sean, but uh, amongst uh, one of the funniest people in this community, and just saying, yeah, I thought you were a Marvel guy, Bones, like Spider-Man. I watched my first uh, Marvel movies really recently. I had never seen an Avengers, and I just saw my first Iron Man. Still Pat thinking here with Ace High as I he's like just shaking his up. head like how, yeah. how could I have gotten myself into the spot to gonna show Vittorio? Show the three of clubs. He's gonna show, show it to him. Clubs. There oh. you go, that a boy. I'm so homogenized that it's the same style of play across the board for so many uh and, I mean, James can play post-defense. I mean, he, he can't commit himself when he wants to, but when he just shoulders such an offensive load, you can understand why that part of the game is not a real big part of his equation. Yeah, it takes a lot of energy. Yeah, so it's... Rami's going to come in here and uh, it's gonna be drop like, right, Wow, finally somebody agrees with me here. That's a 10-9 a raise through by Nasty Nate as we delve down to the NBA Boulevard. Unsub, disliked, wow. That is, uh, <laughs> we, we have uh, reached uncharted waters here. I thought I'm after not here. the Epstein stuff last night that that would be the end of our podcast. This, this might be it, though. Romney, we're not here for the subs. We're here for the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Harn doesn't play D and Epstein didn't kill himself. That's true. All right, that's up here to the flop. 10-9 to close for 8-7. Well, there can be a lot of action boards with these uh, two hands. Yep. <laughs> Torio, not afraid to splash with anybody on the table. As <laughs> we've had, a, we've done a really great job stirring the pot here in the chat box. <laughs> we've just got people going in all sorts of directions. They can't keep up. As I tell people all the time, part of being a live poker player is just trolling most of the time. Yeah, that just, is. Sometimes it's just the only way to get through the day. King 4-4 four, four on the board. Checked over to Vittorio's bet. Probably about 150. 
We've seen both of these two be pretty active. I'm interested to see if Nat is, and Nate is going to be willing to float here. Yeah, he's going to. What's he going to do? Looks like he's going to come with a raise. Does not believe he has hit anything on the board, and no, he's just going to call. Okay. Well, he makes a ten here on the turn as tens and fours. Goes check, check. Really quick check by Vittoria there. I'm kind of surprised that he didn't. Maybe he's just done with the hand completely. No, yeah, he, he probably can't put him on exactly what Nate has, as we can see, but. Yeah, I don't think, I don't see any Tito's near, near Bones right uh, now, but. We're, we're going to save the, the Tito's until I get a little more established here. I can't have them throw Yeah, them that is. I'll maintain my professionalism. Nate's gonna go ahead and, and bet the river here. Tens and fours with a king, the best hand, and a sizable yeah. bet of 355. Both of these guys have definitely gotten in here and mixed it up a little bit. I like to see that. That you do. Oh, oh, wow. He's going to come in for a race, too, after he checked back on the turn. Shoves all in here to Nasty Nate. Wow, that's a hell of a And fight. he's going to oh, call wow. him. Outstanding call. Woo. And he's going to see his pair of tens with the nine. That That is an instant contender for hand of the night. That's that some real poker right there being played. That's Yeah, I'm very impressed by both of them. I did not like... Uh, Vittorio's timing on the turn, but he decided to go for it anyways. And uh, you know, props to Nate for deciding that you know he's gonna have. He was gonna commit to it. Yeah.